Hi, I'm John Ball. I'm a senior physics major here at the University of Maryland College Park, and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you the Astro Blaster, a deceptively simple apparatus. I've got three bouncy balls here, and they're all connected on this little purple plastic axis. And so the top two smaller balls can move around and bounce, but they can't escape the top because it gets a little bit thicker. But I can place a little rubber ball, a little red one, on top that can bounce off the top. So now is your time to think about what's going to happen when I drop this apparatus on the ground. Specifically, what's going to happen to our red ball? Is it going to bounce off? Is it going to stay in place? Is it going to go really high? Is it not going to go very high? Now is your chance to decide. And now we are ready to Astro Blast. In three, two, one. So. What's happening when I drop the Astro Blaster apparatus? Well, I hold it above the ground, and as I drop it, it begins to speed up. It gains kinetic energy. And then when the device impacts the ground, all of these rubber balls begin to squish. And this squishing effect changes the kinetic energy of motion of the apparatus into stored potential energy of all of the rubber elasticity inside of the balls. It's kind of like we're stretching a rubber band, but in reverse. In this case, we're, we're crushing it. And then, as all of that elastic potential energy releases, it pushes all of the balls back up. But our little ball on top, being at the top of the stack, doesn't just get the elastic potential energy from how it deformed when impacting the ground, but also all of the energy stored in the balls crushed below. So it drops down, the whole apparatus crushes together, and kicks the ball off the top, blasting it into the cosmos. Hence the Astro Blaster. So now, let's take a closer look. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you back here again soon.